Indonesia's vast landscape and large area of tropical rainforests are very important for the Earth. As we know, tropical rainforests provide us with oxygen, home to natural biodiversity, and a source of livelihood for communities. Forests are also important in climate change mitigation, as they are known to be the source of greenhouse gas emissions, as well as having a significant role in the absorption of the gases, such as carbon dioxide. One of the world's most important forests is located in the 12.7 million hectares of East Kalimantan province, which 54% are still forested. In East Kalimantan, Indonesia had the opportunity to develop a Red Plus program, which is an action for reducing greenhouse gas emissions by avoiding deforestation and forest degradation. Through the program, Indonesia is committed to reduce emissions that may worsen the impact of climate change by protecting the forested area of East Kalimantan from further deforestation and forest degradation. In order to do so, Indonesia proposed a financial incentive mechanism to the World Bank through the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility Carbon Fund or FCPF Carbon Fund. The story of Indonesia's proposed mechanism began in 2010, where the government initiated the idea with a number of provinces and districts. By 2015, the province of East Kalimantan was selected by the Ministry of Environment and Forestry for the Carbon Fund. At the time, the government of Indonesia was supported by development agencies such as the Global Green Growth Institute or GGGI in developing the early framework of the results-based payment or RBP mechanism with implementation in the sub-national level. With the RBP, Indonesia agreed to a payment structure from the World Bank's FCPF Carbon Fund based on greenhouse gas emissions reduction performance from reducing deforestation and forest degradation in East Kalimantan. So, once the greenhouse gas emissions reductions are achieved, the results are verified, and then Indonesia will receive its payment. This is what is meant by results-based payment or RBP for short. The verification process itself is conducted by an independent team appointed by the Ministry of Environment and Forestry and the FCPF Carbon Fund. The sub-national approach means that Indonesia's government shall have rules and regulations within a sub-national region, in this case for a provincial level, to protect the forested area in order to achieve its greenhouse gas emissions reduction target. Following the program and conceptual development in 2013 to 2015, Indonesia began drafting the program design document for the Red Plus Emissions Reduction Program with RBP mechanism and adopted it within the National Emissions Reduction System. This program design process was completed in 2019. By 2019, the program design was approved and Indonesia started to implement the program. In 2021, Indonesia submitted its first Emission Reduction Monitoring Report for the implementation phase of June 2019 to December 2020. This report will be verified to get the first payment. Funds received from the FCPF Carbon Fund is managed by the Government of Indonesia through the Indonesian Environmental Fund or IEF. The funds will then be distributed to beneficiaries based on the benefit sharing plan, particularly to those who play an active role in reducing the deforestation and forest degradation. These beneficiaries include the central government, regional government, as well as local and adapt communities who implement the Red Plus action within the program areas. The program will be implemented until 2024, where by the end of that year, Indonesia will receive its final payment period. The program is expected to run successfully, and forest covers in East Kalimantan will stay protected with the FCPF Carbon Fund's RBP incentive.
The success of the development process of the Emissions Reduction Program with results-based payment mechanism in East Kalimantan has drawn the attention of many domestic and international parties looking to propose similar mechanism. In Indonesia, the lessons learned from this program is used to develop a similar program in Jambi province. You can learn more on East Kalimantan's Red Plus RBP program in the program book that will be launched at GGGI's website.